Hello and welcome to Potania Scala in mid-July. Potania Scala is the sea-facing part of the village of Potania on the island of Thassos. Thassos is about 30 minutes by ferry from mainland Greece. We were staying at the Neptune, a small family-run hotel, which is a two-minute stroll from the beach. Potamia Scala has everything a beach destination should have. A sandy bay, clean sea and lovely views of the hills behind. I could tell you about the soft sand, the lovely temperature, of the sea and the clarity of the waters, but I think I might as well show you. As the beach ends, the row of businesses catering for the holiday makers begins, and as is traditional, in the evening we went for a walk. There is a near endless choice of restaurants, bars and souvenir shops. In the shops you can buy anything you like from small decorative boats to more interesting products such as bottles of the famous local olive oil and jars of honey and a variety of handmade products using the best Brussels has to offer. Okay, I didn't spot the busy one, so you will have to see the one. And of course, as many hats, some addresses and inflatables as you wish. Even when busy, the atmosphere is relaxed and shopkeepers and restaurateurs are friendly 
and you never feel under pressure to buy something or sit down at a specific restaurant. Talking of which, menus tend to be quite big and cater for young and old, including the most demanding of young diners. And if you have a craving for fish, most fish is freshly caught. It seems that these days the only time you get a chance to sit down with a good book is on holiday. Oh yes, you know how you suddenly feel that you absolutely have to have something and strangely it happens only when you're on holiday. And there are a couple of small supermarkets for more mundane things, like a bottle of cold water and a bag of crisps. Okay, if you follow me. But amid the holiday bars, we came across this small chapel. This chapel is dedicated to Saint Nicholas. The main religion in Greece is Christian Orthodox. Pictorial traditions in the Orthodox Church follow specific rules from the size of the icons to how the figures and scenes from the Gospels are depicted. For example, the halo signifies a holy character. The radius of the halo is generally three to three and a half times the length of the nose. If the man in the icon is wearing a hood of muted colors, he was a monk. Deep red is generally reserved for the outer robes worn by Christ and the Holy Mary. Women always wear something over their heads. Sunken cheeks hint to an ascetic life. Long beards, age and wisdom. This is the icon of St. Nicholas of Mura. High temples means he was a scholar. With drawn cheeks, he shied away from earthly pleasures. Beard, he was wise. The robes with the crosses tell us that he was part of the clergy. He was a bishop. The hand is posed in the act of benediction and he is holding a gospel, meaning that he upheld and defended the Christian faith. Inside the chapel is a bit dark and you can see the way the gold halos work. The gold catches every glimmer of light available, so even in darkness you can still see a near complete circle of light. The aim is to tell the worshippers that when in darkness they should let holy light guide their steps. As the sun disappears behind the hill, the nightlife gets going. dinner on the beach was very tempting, we headed back to our hotel. Where we enjoyed listening to a young girl playing the violin for family and friends under the watchful eye of her music teacher. Thank you so much for watching, please like and subscribe, it helps me a lot. 
I publish this type of videos in English on Tuesday, in Italian on Wednesdays and in Bulgarian on Thursdays. Once a month I publish a video looking at Russia using Python coding language and those are in English only. Once again, thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.